Okay. Mm. Hmm. So I've been thinking about this. <laughs> Uh, just got just got up with this uh, idea in my head. We humans are going extinct. Um, there is nothing we can do about it. This is the great secret um, they don't want you to know because they think I think are humans think you can't handle it so they keep us in a state of ignorance and treat us in this very paternalistic attitude because they think we can't handle the fact that we're going to go extinct and our extinction is in my opinion not going to be caused by some asteroid or a war between humans our extinction is going to be caused by a bio how do you pronounce it? B -I -A -A. Bureaucratic decision by our creator, gods, <laughs> alien, uh, uh, yeah, yeah, so the um, aliens. So, uh, you know, the Elohim, um, the ones who genetically modified and engineered us according to the Lacerda files and other sources, you know, even the Bible kind of hints at this or actually states it, you know, the God, <laughs> the God is the Elohim created humans. So, um, the extinction will not be like a very, uh, our extinction will happen without much fanfare from their point of view. Yeah, it'll be like a bureaucratic decision, you know. Uh, after a period of time, we have to destroy the humans. Not because we think humans are special or anything like that but because they, it's maybe they just saw us as some kind of an experiment and after a certain time in order to you know maybe there's some kind of a rule somewhere in their rule book in their law codes or something that like every experiment has to be ended after you know 10,000 years or whatever or maybe we've got nukes and we're becoming you know because humans are just um enslaved to their ego and driven by emotion they might be a danger to not because they're gonna humans are gonna be that much dangerous but they're gonna they might be a nuisance with these nukes so that might be another reason but i think the real reason is because they might have some kind of a, a, a bureaucratic kind of regulation saying that every experiment has to end after a certain period of time so uh, I mean that's how uh, that's how much they think of us <laughs> like <laughs> it's a bureaucratic decision our extinction is a bureaucratic decision um, yeah I don't know. I mean, maybe this is, this is it, you know, and um, maybe in the past, our ancestors tried to placate 
these alien creator gods by doing sacrifices and worshipping them. Maybe they want us to worship them. Um, I don't know. Maybe they get something out of the worship. <laughs> if you read the Bible, it's like the God always wants you to, to love him and worship him. You know, Maybe that's our use. As long as we worship them, maybe they will be satisfied. But even then, I think they will still destroy you. Because like I said, it might be as simple as a bureaucratic rule. So they created us because they wanted someone to worship them. I don't know why. I mean, I mean, I don't. From a human point of view, it seems like if someone, if you want someone to worship you, you're like, I don't know, <laughs> you've got problems. But uh, maybe they got their their own reasons why they want someone to worship them. I don't know. You know, like we were created in their image. Um. I don't know. I don't have anything much to say. I think. I don't. I think maybe this is a secret. Maybe this is why, you know, when people want to say, "Oh, let's go promote disclosure. Tell everyone this is real. Tell anyone the aliens are, you know, real and they're here and all that." Maybe, maybe, maybe the reason they don't want to tell you is because they know what's coming. That we're gonna. These beings are going to come back and, I don't know, drop a mega nuke on Earth and destroy it, cause another great flood, who knows. Um, in the past, we say, oh, these are asteroid impacts, asteroid. No, maybe they were just plain nukes, some kind of a weapon that causes destruction on a planetary scale. You know. Um, so what do we do? Uh, you know, should we tell the human race? Yeah, I think you should tell the human race. Yes, you should tell them this. To the president of the United States, all world leaders to, to, should, should make a formal speech saying, yes, uh, um, we were created in this way by these beings. And they're going to come back in the near future and they're going to destroy us. Yes, that's exactly what you should say. And I'm being serious. Uh, maybe it'll promote some sobriety because I think human race is really... I mean, if you're going to treat the human beings like children that you've got to lie to and be paternalistic and, you know, coddle to or whatever, then human beings are going to behave like immature children. But if you tell them this is our truth or reality, um, is it going to change anything? I don't know. I don't know. If, uh, maybe I, would, I, I don't know if it will change our destiny. Because that may be out of our hands. Who knows? Maybe if you're hopeful, maybe you'll say, oh, it's maybe some other aliens will say, save us. But I don't think that's going to happen. Uh, I think we were created by them and, and they're going to be destroying us. Uh, <clears throat> so even if you tell the humans the truth, like, what's going to change? Um, I don't know. <laughs> I don't even know it's worth saying, to be honest. Because even if you tell humans the truth, like, what's going to, is that going to make much of a difference? Hey. Um, but I, but I want at least I want the satisfaction of knowing that this is reality. I don't want to be lied to. Personally, I don't want to be lied to. And I, you know, it might be just just have a little. Uh, uh, it'll be nice to live in a world where your governments are not lying to you. Maybe that in itself would be worth it, even if in the reality might be horrible. The ending might be, you know, we can't do anything about it. But at least to live in a world where your government is being honest and people are being real, maybe that itself is worth the 
uh, the knowledge of that we're going to go extinct and there's nothing we can do about it. Maybe maybe between now and then we can at least live in a world where, okay, we are all on the same page. We're all, you know, we are all living in reality. We're not being manipulated and all that, you know. Maybe that might be at least worth it. Just, just to have that kind of an experience of living in some honest, real world. Even if I end this, uh, you know, predetermined and there's nothing we can do. I, I would like to live in that kind of a world where everyone's being honest. And we're being told the truth, right? 